Why the fuck does a monitor have a speaker on it? That's my question. Uh, we switched locations because there was a woman over there that loaded a double barrel shotgun. You know the sound effect when you go like this and you load the shotgun? That's what I heard, so I'm, I'm gone. Probably has a sniper scope on it and an extended mag. I pushed this stuff down, not too hard, but like just so it's kind of flat. Okay, first gun, here we go. Let's just do a point blank. So this gun is actually really underpowered. It did crack the cap there. Don't shoot your cat with it or your cat will explode. And then make sure you put it in there. The BBs are stuck. That was point blank and from a slight distance and literally you don't see any difference. They went nowhere. Reflatten the sand. Comment down below what you think is gonna happen even though you're gonna see it. Okay, the next gun is the Glock 17. I got this 3D printed thing on here. You can grab the mag really easy when it's shoved up your ass. Wear eye protection when doing such things. Okay, ready? Make sure you do that. That was like fucking center. So this is what the Glock did. Definitely more powerful there. It really didn't go inside. Basically just getting rid of the air pockets because it would be unfair. Calm down. Yeah, I didn't pack it down. Yeah. Uh, this gun doesn't come with a battery because the guy who's making the video is stupid and forgot it. Make sure you press this button because it pushes them forward. Nine hours of filming for the SD card. Fucking 10 milliseconds for the goddamn battery. A couple shots. Oh, it's dead. Cool. Yeah, I did too, just because I nearly hit the plastic. I actually did chip the plastic, but those went in more than the Glock. So that's pretty good. Every gun channel in a nutshell. Thank you to Coast Knives for sponsoring the video. This is the part where uh, the sun goes down and then it gets dark. So here's the result of the full auto. There's a bunch of broken BBs in there. I think it's magnetic sand because it's like sticking to the knife. I think the reason why the BBs broke was because I was using the milky BBs that came with that shotgun. Don't use milk BBs. So the next gun is this old World War 12. It actually says made in USSR. This is a Russian gun. Take this thing, you pull down and it opens the barrel and you just fold it like that. And look how disgusting and dirty it is. I don't even know where I got this gun. I kind of just found it. I'm like 10 milliseconds away. Did you know that those ballistic gel dummy things that you see on gun channels cost like thousands of dollars. That's fucked. You can do cool stuff like this. Surprisingly, this is very fucking quiet. So maybe this is like shitty FPS. Oh, look at that. You can't even see the pellets. I don't even know how far they went. It didn't reach the bottom. Okay, so you can see it right and even fucking point at it right there. The one pellet went about like an inch down. The last gun is called the NXG. It's a pump action air rifle. Cool thing about it is you can open this door and put BBs in there and it holds a bunch of them or you can actually shoot pellets. I'm going to shoot steel BB, which is known to have the most destructive power, but not as much penetration. It almost rolled off. And then this is what it looked like afterwards. Kind of just like lifted up the sand a bunch. Crazy, as Katawashimi would say. Okay, oh, kinetic sands of cunt. Don't swear to the babies. There's a steel BB there. Now that actually went further in than the pellet did. I'm gonna pack this shit down, but the difference is it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be as hard as my dog's ball. That thing is actually pretty fucking hard to be honest. Whoa, is that a mouse? Yeah, I think this definitely has more power than the uh, wooden one. It throws sand everywhere. So the big crater is the one that went far. Hey Siri, remind me of DIY ballistics gel. Okay, add it to remind us. Okay, so you can see it there. I'd say it definitely went as much as the uh, steel BB did. So it went in about the same distance. I just really want to be able to see how far it goes when I shoot it. I don't have to dig for it and find it. So in conclusion, kinetic sand is bulletproof. It's steel BB proof. It is pellet proof. And it's definitely airsoft BB proof. Uh, I'd say the furthest one was probably the steel BB. So, yep. Oh, that's cool. If there's BBs left on the ground, three titted anime dogs will come out and then you'll be turned into a furry. I should do a live stream one night before it gets to fucking winter of just shooting objects and shooting guns. You guys can join me. You guys can shoot your guns at the same time. Isn't that so cute? I have an airsoft BB in the barrel. The pellet went like this and the BB went like this. I, I don't know.